And now to Hampton and day two of the search for evidence to connect a man with the killings of up to seven people. The arrest and the victims were from Connecticut, but police were in Hampton because the suspect, 45-year-old William Howe, stayed at a home on Gumwood Drive in Hampton for several years. Ten of your side's Deanna LeBlanc was there when police wrapped up today. Deanna, what did they tell you? Well, Nicole, the search here at this home on Gumwood Drive is over. There will not be a search day three tomorrow, but the search for answers and possibly linking William Devin Howell to seven murders in Connecticut is far from complete. In the back of this home, more than a dozen investigators with the FBI, Hampton and Suffolk Police dug for hours looking for any possible buried evidence. We've made some, some pretty good progress, actually. Uh, we started this morning with hand digging um, some particular areas that we were focusing on. In April, Connecticut investigators announced the remains of seven people recovered from behind a shopping center were likely those of people reported missing in 2003 and say their deaths appear to be homicides. A close source to the investigation tells town on their side Howell could be linked to them all and evidence could be buried here in Hampton. By midday, the city of Hampton brought in a front end loader to speed up the search. I mean, there are uh, several large trees in the background or in the in the backyard, um, so there have been some root system and stuff, but the backhoe has helped with that. After digging about two feet deep and searching the home and the structure in the back, police say no new evidence turned up. Part of our job is to look for evidence, and sometimes you uncover evidence and sometimes you don't. In this particular instance, uh, we had probable cause to come here, which led us to search the property, and we did not uncover anything at this juncture. Now, Howell lived in the home behind me off and on. He was uh, last seen here, or last known to live here in the year 2000. He also grew up in Hampton, but he does have ties to Florida, Connecticut, Newport News, even several counties in North Carolina. And we got word late today that the New Britain Serial Killer Task Force, that's the authority from Connecticut that has the lead, was in Dare County today following up on leads and even conducting interviews. No word yet on what that might have turned up. Now, by the way, because Howell is only right now in jail on a manslaughter charge, he's set to be released in 2019. Live in Hampton, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Town on your side.